Okay, guys, so let's um do a quick market review. Happy new month. Welcome to the month match. I, I like more this to pass before doing my review so I can you know, have an idea of what the market is planning. All right, so this uh let's quickly look at the, this by DXY. Um, let's quickly go to the week, weekly charts. All right, so from the DXY, I think um, I can remember. When price is all the way down here, I never tell you that you should expect some buys from here. And then customer has been bullish ever since then. All right. Now, looking at the market, we can clearly see that we have actually um, um, above 50%. And we hit this other block here. We bounced off it. And our price is, um, you know, playing around this point. All right. So, looking at the market now, um, look at the weekly charts. All right. Let us look at the weekly chart. So, look at the weekly charts. Um, we still have um, liquidity to the upside, right? So have this high, and then we have this trend line forming. And that is, we have trend line forming, right? So, um, I still believe that price might still run higher, right? I see the because market failed to break this low. So, if price failed to break this low, the chances are that the market will likely make a new high, right? We had this break of structure, price flow to break below this low. I know this low was inside was this as a weekly favorite or uh, a monthly favorite gap that was there, right? This is a monthly favorite gap I'm talking about. This is a monthly uh, favorite gap. And then you can see that price um has been doing that. So even a monthly chart is obviously bullish, you can see high, you know, market is um, bullish, we came to this, Favor link up and then we are rejecting all the favor. You can look very carefully. We have an engulfing candle. This candle will engulf the body of this candle, engulfed the previous candle. So the likelihood that we will see bullishness is very, very high. Right? It's very likely that we will still see bullishness. Right? Let me quickly check on seasonalities. Seasonalities. All right, so let's just quickly check a quick clock. A quick clock. All right, so let's just check a quick clock quickly. So let's quick a quick search so I can see it. All right, so these are me. You click here. We'll see this is not it. Let's look at the DXY. Uh, we'll click on charts. All right, so. Right, so let's look at the XY. All right, let's look at the XY. Um, okay, this is the dollar index. All right, so that is it. Let's look at this, that is it. So, so based on the XY um, for this guy, we usually have, um, in the month of March, we usually see kind of bullishness at the beginning of March and then bearishness, right? So um, we don't follow the seasonality um, verbatim to confirm from the market structure, right? So now this is our daily chart on DXY, and you can see that we have a temporarily bullish market has been breaking highs, so we're temporarily bullish, and then we have this other block here, market price, right? I remember marking this other block before all um earlier, a market has come, you know, tapped into that other block here, all right? And the price kind of doing as it wants to rally higher, all right? So and we have this key level here, this key level, we have this key level. At the fifty percent, look at this key level. You can see our price always reacts at this key level. So we still have reasons why price should go higher, right? The market is still playing on this key level. So I would really trust the sales if price is able to break this particular key level right, and close below this swing low, right? Until price closes below that swing low, I am still bullish. I'm seeing this as an inducement, right? Like kind of liquidity graph. I'm not seeing that a break of structure yet. And although we hit this daily favorable graph, and then I don't really con consider this a break of structure because we have this swing high here, this dynamic um swing below, which has not been broken. After this, the this candle print, you can see one, you can see all these bullish candles are printed after it, right? And then we have some favorable cap after the candle. So now this candle is my kind of interest. If price can close below this, then I will now confirm that the market is bearish, and this key level has to be broken as well. So this key, as long as this key level remains unbroken, um, I'm still of the opinion that dollar can still go higher, right? So now we can confirm from a Two hour charts and see what market is. So, even from the two hour chart, you can see that price has been, you know, taking out highs, right? 
this high could not make a low, say the high, this high, this um, high could not make a low, and I still a very great possibility that this will this um this high could not make a low, and it's also taken out right. There's a great, great chance that this cannot still also make a low. There's great chance that we are going to see see price run higher again, right? We're going to see see price run higher. Right, so on the one hour chart, you can see very carefully that we are currently in this one hour demand zone. Right? One hour demand zone, which is here. And you look at the one hour chart very carefully. You can see that there's actually a bullish sentiment, right? The market has broken structure to the upside, right? So because this is a broken structure, the market is temporarily bullish, right? We are playing of this demand zone, um, liquidity graph, you know, all of those stuff, right? So it's very likely that price will consume to run higher, right? And then for for stockers, market should buy at least to this point here. Yeah. Right, this be one of interest for me. I love to see price buy this buy to that point, but supposedly make a new high. So for me now, I am bullish for this particular pair. Right? I don't want to make it only on um only on the one hour. I don't want to be on the okay. All right, it's okay like that. So only on the one hour. So let's leave it that way. So this should be the targets. Market should run to this point. That should be. The area of interest, all right. That should be the area of interest for me. Um, yeah, so I'm looking at on um, dollar. So for euro USD, since we're expecting some bullish dollar, that means we should expect some kind of bearishness on the euro pound right now. Euro pound, we obviously are inside this other block, right? Price is still fine, difficult to break, and uh, I've been bearish like since forever. So I still expect price to you know go and take out this low and then consequently this low. I right? so I've been expecting on that particular pain, right? So we're expecting on that particular pain. All right. So if you have not joined my Telegram community, I've I still been posting my markups and all of those things, right? So that is it. So that's it. Um, okay. So I'm assessing some bearishness in this other block. So price can't, you know, drop from here now and then possibly make a loop. All right. So let's look at the slower time frame as well. Um, four hour is not so really clear yet. Right. We still for the four hour chart, it's not so really clear. Right. Although we have we, we feel this imbalance, right? I remember points now this earlier. We had um this high. And then this low, right? So we had the same balance. So if you ask me, I feel that <clears throat> as price may have given a bullish break of structure here. And right? let us keep an eye on this as well. There might have been a bullish break, right? At this point here, I'm just closing above it. So what we want to see, we want to see price break this low at least. If price can take, go below this low, then we can confirm our bearishness. But until price takes out this low, we cannot really trust the bearishness yet because. This low is the swing low I can find the market has to break it before I will really um, believe the sales, right? So on the one hour as well, you can see same thing. Market is refusing to um, break this swing low, right? We have taken out this inducement low and now we are still breaking highs again. So market has found it difficult to break that swing low. So um, market can still go bullish in bits, right? So let us keep an eye on that. So for now, I don't really have anything so concrete on euro usd not so really concrete um on this so we have to wait for markets confirmations right we have to wait for markets confirmation so this is still the main our swing low so what does the price go below the swing low before we can confirm ourselves right so now that i see here that's what i see on this particular chart i see that's you know, i'm failing to break right for gbp usd for GBP as the um quickly daily chart as well. We also at the daily other block. We have this trend line liquidity here. We have this other block. We had this um watch this. We had this break of structure. Market's close below this low. And then we, made, we had this break of structure. Market has come back to this other block area and price has been playing around it since then. Right. So we still like the market might still drop. Right. If we can get a very clear one hour, you know, one hour confirmation. It's very nice to see that, right? Uh, look at the one hour chart. I can't really see any clear confirmation yet, right? We have this swing high, have this swing low, have this um high, 
um, we have not been able to um, go below this swing low, right? Okay. We close below this low. Okay, yeah, we close below this low, and but there has not been any clear. Um, okay, we have closed below this low, so we have a kind of bearish break on the one hour for this guy. I will close below this low. All right, let me check the two hour. All right, so no one hour is a break. When the two hour is no break, when the three hour seems a no break, so let's be, let's be careful. That may be a trick because it's only one hour below. Two hours, three hours are not showing sure that break. But this may be an equity grab, so be careful with that. Be very careful. Very careful. And I've seen that we have been taking out highs. We have to wait for market to take out a very clear low, right? So before, before we even look at, think about selling, let's price at least clear this low first, this particular low here. Let's price clear this low clearly before we can start roasting sales for now, right? So when our market is temporarily um, still very bullish to me, seeing that um, there's a break here, but on higher time frames, it's not visible, right? This is a case where the market is having a liquidity grab because even though you can see, Three hour all the time frame. I'm not showing that break. It's just looking like a week down. So let's be very careful with that, right? Let's be very careful because that may be a trap. So let's just keep an eye on that. So for for dollar index for um, GPUSD, not so really clear. Market still looks like it might still run up. Right now we have this liquidity building here. We have liquidity building here. Right, I have this liquidity building at this point here, and we have this imbalance. So the price can choose to buy. From this imbalance and then take out this high before dropping. So if you market can choose to buy from this imbalance here and then take out this high before dropping, right? So let us be mindful of that. Let's be mindful of that. Right? Let's just be mindful of that. All right. So let's look at the lap there. GBP um GPY. So daily charts quickly. So daily chart we're seeing bullishness. Remember where we've been bullish by bullish on this, and the reason we have been bullish was because of the monthly charts. You can see. That we broke structure the monthly charts and then we are have been going for this purple high. So this high is actually the target on the monthly chart. Right, this high is actually the target for the monthly chart, and that's what we are going for. That monthly high. So on weekly has been very bullish. We, are, we couldn't go past this February gap. The market came we came up to this February gap, and the market has been running all the way up. Right. So the daily charts you can see another one here. You can see uh, in favor another block printed here. Market the heat that is running for this high, so we can still the market to continue running higher. So maybe in the lower time frame, we can look for buyers at least to take out this particular high here, right? This high, here. sorry, this high at the top there. Look for buyers to take out that high, right? That would be where that would be very nice to see. We can see buyers to take out that high, right? So let me check about the test 45 minutes charts. Um, okay, so one hour, okay. So no one I think we still have um, this other block here, which has not labeled. Okay, it doesn't tap into. So we, we can see that actually, right? Market cannot buy from this area here and then you know, go up to that fairly gap, right? Now we have a breaker level. Watch this breaker block. I have this, have this breaker block here. I have this breaker block there. Market can choose to buy from that breaker and then run this size, right? So let's keep an eye on that. GG is bullish and let us see if we can get a clear bullish market break. Maybe the lower time frame, 15 minutes, 5 minutes, and then cannot trust the best. So you can see on the 5 minutes currently, or 15 minutes, there's no real, um, there's no real move yet. There's no more real move yet. Nothing solid. Right. And since I have an Asian range, I'm not talking Asian loose yet. So let us see what's happening. So if market can take out the Asian loop, then I'll be there may be a stop for the buy, right? So let us wait for the, this agent to be taken out before we do anything, all right? So let's look at um, USD chef. So quickly to the daily chart as well. Quickly, the daily chart on the USD chef. Um, sorry, on the weekly charts, we have we have been bearish, right? We had this other block here, market took out this inducement, hit our other block, and then it dropped to make a new low. And then market has taken a this low, and the market is now retracing up. And now we're at 50%, right? So we have 150%. Market is still bearish on this particular guy. We're still bearish on this particular guy, right? So we're still bearish on ANC chef for the moment, right? So, but on the daily charts, 
we have temporarily bullish because market has been closing above highs, right? Market is temporarily bullish on the daily chart because we have been breaking highs, right? So to confirm the right sell we have been expecting, we can wait for the market to give us a clear bearish break on the lower time frame, which has not obviously happened. The market is still very bullish on the lower time frame, right? You can see that market is just off this favorable gap here. I can see this favorable gap being rejected from I can see this gap here. Surprise is reversing off that bullish favorable gap, right? So this is a very strong concern. The market might still run higher. And the market might still still run higher. Right. So now the market might still run higher, still continue going higher. So for you to sell this market, wait for a very, very clear break of structure before you can trust this sell. And that break of structure would occur when price is able um you know to um okay let me check something All right so when price is able to you know close clearly maybe somewhere below this low All right this is a dynamic swing low price are clearly close below this low that would be a sign for itself and look at the one hour charts and that's okay as a kind of intermediate break but well, it's not really clear because there's no inducement from there All right so so let's keep an eye on this guy. It's not necessarily really concrete there. And let's play with the lower time frames. Well, I feel the market might still run high, but for our split looks very bullish. Right? We should still continue running higher because of the four hour chart. And the daily is not giving signs of drop. Now, can, now if you look at the daily chart very carefully, we have this imbalance here. So it's very likely that price might still want to draw for this imbalance approval. here. So I still have some bullish sentiment on this guy, at least to this bullish imbalance here. That would be where. I expect the USD chef to run to do this imbalance at this top here. And that's where I expect USD chef to really run to. Um, now for good, um, quickly, monthly charts or weekly charts, sorry. So for good, good as a super bullish, I can see that good as a super, super bullish. We have been playing obviously on that block and I am running up, 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 up. Right? There's no real move, right? So it's likely and possible that gold is going forward. This all time high, yeah. It's very like I got good, is going there. Yeah. Very possible that good is going for that all time high up there. So, look at the four hour chart, it's super, super bullish, right? It's supposed that gold is running for this high, this high at so, um, the highs as well. Two, two, one, four, six, two, one, four, six. So, markets are likely to still go for that high on the good. You see, post the market by, by price by threes for that, might go for that high. Right, so for me to buy good, I'll also see good at least dump to this imbalance down here. At least this imbalance of the way I'm looking at for buy consideration. So for now, I don't have anything on good until good is able to give me that retracement into this bullish imbalance here. Right, so until good comes there, I don't really have any to die So when good comes there and gives me bullish setup, there we can consider that right. So let's look at Bitcoin quickly. So for Bitcoin, weekly charts, um, Bitcoin is super bullish. We had um, this monthly favorable gap here. Yeah? You know, we had this um, key level here. Yeah? I had this bullish candle. We had this monthly favorable gap. This monthly gap. Yeah. All right. So you can see market is reducing off this monthly favorable gap. Right? Market is super bullish. So the chances are market is going to make a new high because there is no sign of rejection. So for me, I feel that. Um, each coin is going to make a new high, right? I feel this one because you already almost this, so there's no point in the market rejecting now because it's very bullish. So, this will be a, a high of target, right? This coin will likely make a new high, it's likely to take out that um, all time high, very likely. It's very like a let me check this the high of these candles are down 6900, and the high of this candle is what 68850. Almost there, so it's very very likely that price will take it today, right? Today being the um, 5th of March, a right? very like high tendency that price will take out that favor like gap, right? Very high tendency, right? Market is playing all this gap. No, oh, my god, it's going to take out a high, jeez, it's going to take out a high, all right? So I don't, I, I, I can't really see anything there, nothing really concrete for me. Took out liquidity graph. Hit this demand zone now. It's beautiful. We hit this demand zone. It's beautiful. And I've been the buyer. So for now, market candles continue running higher. Take out this overall higher 6900. 
or rather I see. So last two pairs, which is um the indices. So for US 30, let's look at just one of them, save time. So for US 30, we have been you know, super bullish, no, no looking back. And um there's nothing clear on this guy. When I get to keep speaking a high, I don't really see the ideas on, on it, right? Now looking at the, the chart, we can still go bullish, which is very possible. We have this February gap on the daily charts, which price is playing off. Uh, the least can still see price run higher. Very possible. All right, you can still see price run higher. Yeah. We, can, we can trust sales only when price is able to you know, clear this lows, like break below this lows very clearly. Once the price breaks below this lows, then it's not wise to look for sell opportunities just yet because market is super bullish, right? So the same thing for US um, 13. US, what that's for the NASDAQ, um, market is still super bullish on that. You can check the weekly chart. That's been, oh, super, super bullish, right? You took out this high and then I've been making highs and highs and highs and highs. There's no com no coming back, right? So even on this guy, we took out liquidity here and then we ran higher. Now we have an order block printed here. So this can still make price to re still run higher, all right? But for me, I I would see this as a kind of liquidity. All right, that's internal liquidity to me. All right, then we, ha we have this... um original order block here, right? So this will be my area of interest. If markets can drop to this point here, that will be very good for buy opportunities. You buy inside there, right? This point here will be nice to look for buys, right? So that's basically all I have on this pairs. That's basically all I have. All I have. Okay, GP, AUG. So let's look at GP, AUG. Okay. All right, so market is still bullish on GP, AUG. All right, there's nothing clear. So you see, I come up with this demand zone on a weekly chart, and the chances are, chances are, chances are that we are going to make a new high, which is above this high. So that was, those, are, those, are, those are the chances. And we can see price make a new high above this high, very clear and very likely. Daily chart, the same thing, because structural market is making highs, 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 no coming back. So it's very likely that we can still see price run higher. And then we have this liquidity target here. We have this. Liquidity target, this liquidity point here. And this liquidity target here. Now I have this liquidity target up here. So market should reach for this high and then probably this overall high. So for now, let us keep an eye on that. All right, let's keep an eye on that. So market is still very bullish on this. No reasons to sell just yet. Just look for buys, 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 buys. After every retracement, look for a buy. So for now, I've taken out this recent high. Nothing to do with the price gives us a retracement and then we can look forward more buy opportunities, right? So that's all I have. If you want to join our paid mentorship, use the link in the description and you can join us for one year, all right? So this is all I have. I, will, I, I wish you guys the best of your trading week. If you have a question, do have to reach out to me if you have any questions or issues. But as long as you're not asking me which trade will play or which one will not play out, right? So manage your risk and have a wonderful day. Cheers and good.